New World is coming out with a new expedition called Barnacles and Black Powder. So in this video, I want to take a look at all of the legendaries that's coming with this update so that we can be ready to put more builds together. First, I'll go over the weapons and then I'll dive into some trinkets and then lastly, some armor sets that will be coming with the new dungeon. So let's dive into the weapons and take a look at what's new. The first weapon that's new is a sword. This sword will come with 15 strength, enchanted, circling frost. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to use this, but maybe you're an exception and you like this. And it comes with reverse stab. This will drop from three bosses in the dungeon. So look out for it. Here's the three bosses. So maybe look out for this sword if you're interested in it. But I highly doubt it since there's some new weapons out there or better weapons out there that you can use. Next up is a great axe called the hook. The hook comes with 30 strength, crippling reap. In the new patch, weapon perks on weapons will have a little bit of a buff over those on armor. So maybe this will, um, will be useful for you. But it also rolls with Genie Empowered and Taunting Strikes. So you can do more damage. This will be dropped by three bosses as well. So maybe look out for it when you're farming it. Moving on to a musket. This musket is called the Explorer's Friend. This will come with 30 Dexterity, Enchanted, Empowering Shooter Stance. Pretty good weapon ability to have on your weapon. I guess if you want it Empower and then Refreshing Move, maybe not the best, but I guess it's useful still. Maybe you want a better one though. And this will also drop from free bosses in the new dungeon or expedition. Since they're not dungeons, they're expeditions. Moving on to the blunderbuss. It's called Deep Hole. Deep Hole Blunderbuss. 30 strength or 20 strength and 10 intelligence. So a bit of a mixed stat here, unfortunately. But it comes with Lost Bane. Probably not the best unless you do PvE, maybe mutations, Genie Empowered and Mortal Refrenchment. Not the best blunder, not the best blunderbuss. So you can get this from, from the bosses as well. Only three bosses. Next up, and bow. This bow is Arrow's Spine. This will come with 30 dexterity, so pretty good. And then chain void. Also, you'll get some extra damage from that. Refreshing move, maybe not the best since you want damage. But some people do use Refreshing Move for their abilities and then enchant it. And this will drop from a mix of NPCs inside the dungeon. So this might be difficult to get if you need to grind it out. Since a lot of these have big loot pools, I guess. Moving on to a hatchet called Drift Wood. This hatchet will come with 20 strength, 10 dexterity, so a mixed stat. And then it will roll with Vicious, like Crits, and then Keen. Not the worst hatchet if you ask me, but also you can get better, I guess. And this will also drop from a mix of enemies inside the dungeon. Moving on to a Warhammer, Mole of Phantoms. Uh, Phantoms? Uh, I don't know. And it will come with 20, 30 strength. Transcend Strikes, Penetrating Wrecking Ball. Maybe this is good for you if you want it on your weapon, since it does get buffed now when it's on your weapon. And then Keen the Aim Powered. empowered. So, pretty good. Not, not the worst. This will also drop from a lot of the NPCs inside the dungeon. So, look out for this, but probably very difficult to get. But I believe we can craft things now from the dungeons. So, maybe a bit easier. Now for a rapier, so spine, this will come with dexterity, enchanted, lost pain, and transcend rent. So maybe just for PvE, but not really that good. And this will also roll with or drop from a lot of NPCs. Moving on to the spear, melting point, this will come with 30 dexterity, candy empowered. Vicious and Taunting Strikes. I believe there's better spears out there. 
and this will drop from the last boss in the dungeon. Let's move on to the next one. Expands. This is a fire staff. So 30 intelligence, vicious, like crits and keen. Actually, not the worst fire staff out there. So maybe if you wanted to play crits on your fire staff and you prefer it, look out for this. It will also drop from the last boss in the dungeon. Moving on to a really good void gauntlet. I really want this void gauntlet. It's called the Grasp and it will roll with 30 intelligence, vicious, life stealing, and voracious blade, which will heal you for 50% when you're under 50% health. Really good. I'm probably gonna make a lifesteal build out of this one, which should heal you for a lot, but maybe not do the most damage, but you will keep yourself going. This unfortunately will drop from a lot of enemies. So you will have to grind for it for a little bit or craft yourself one. Let's check the next one. The next one is an ice gauntlet, green kickle or something like that. I don't know. Let's take a look. 30 intelligence, lost bane, vicious, island burst. Maybe not the best. Maybe for PvE if you're into it. Also drops from a lot of NPCs inside of the new expedition. And then a really good lifestyle, I believe, since I used the main healer before my surgery. So I didn't make videos for that time. But let's take a look. 30 focus. Blessed is a must have on a healing staff. Refreshing evasion. Also really, really good. And then fortifying sacred ground. Also really good. Since we'll gain extra fortify. And this will drop from a lot of NPCs inside the dungeon. So you might be grinding a little bit inside there as well and let's take a look at the shield there's only one shield that i saw that was like purple so here's a shield it will come with constitution it's only a kite shield come with constitution refreshing move so you'll get your cooldowns back a lot faster and then diminishing shield pass you will basically remove buffs from people for a little bit and then sturdy, sturdy is pretty good as well, but maybe you want an offensive one. And this will drop from the last boss in the dungeon. Now let's take a look at the armor for pants. There's a wanderer's pants. And this will come with dexterity and 20 intelligence. Shirking energy, really good. And then elemental aversion and invigorated. This will drop from the last boss in the dungeon. Moving on to some gloves, it's light gloves, 25 focus, so this is for a healer, refreshing, elemental aversion, and vigor. This will come from a lot of enemies inside the dungeon, so you will have to grind for it. Next up is shoes, shoes of sign, this will come with 25 strength, shirking fortification, elemental aversion, and refreshing evasion. Pretty good if you want some something just to put in your belt for strength user. This will also drop from a lot of NPCs inside the dungeon. And then a really good shirt is a medium. This is basically like a filler. If, if you want to remove your light shirt, then you can just use this one. 25 constitution, figure, not the best, not the worst. Elemental aversion, really good, and refreshing is always welcome in a build, although we don't have resilient. This will also drop from a lot of NPCs in the dungeon. And now let's go to a heavy helmet, which is heavy, and strength, dexterity, which is kind of weird, and then you get critical retribution. Maybe you can use this with a hatchet build, and physical aversion, and the refreshing. This will also drop from a couple of NPCs in the dungeon. So maybe look out for it if you can use it. Then we go to an earring piece, tear drop. This is constitution. And then a really good perk, refreshing toast, refreshing ward. Not the best one, maybe the worst refreshing perk there is. And then regenerating. This is useful. Maybe you just want to have it as a placeholder, but you can farm this from a couple of NPCs in the dungeon as well so a mix of them it will be a grind probably moving on to the ring the new ring that we can get this one is called damp and it will come with 25 intelligence keen awareness 
leaching and burning. So for those fire staff mages, maybe this looks interesting. At least this will drop from a lot of NPCs as well. Might be hard to get. So moving on. Lastly, the amulet droplet. Droplet is a focus amulet. It will come with shaking dot cleanse and health and divine. So really two really good perks, I believe. Shirking dot cleanse, probably not the best, but also you can use it at least. And this will also drop from the NPCs inside the dungeon. Now for the armor sets. This is Ad Admiral's Claw, I guess. Ah, difficult to say. It will roll with 25 strength, physical aversion and refreshing. As you can see, it will come in a complete set, so you can get the whole set. All of the perks are the same, I did check. So it will drop from a boss in the dungeon as well. And then the last set that we can get here is the Siren's Glove. You have a full set that you can get. It will roll with the Constitution, Angry Earth Ward, Elemental Aversion and Refreshing. And you will have to do mutation to get it. I think the previous one, you will also have to do mutation to get this sets. That's all the loot from the dungeon. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm finally back to create more content. Back from my surgery for my leg. So I'm happy to be back and creating more content. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.